Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison on all four Ninja Specialty Coffee Makers. On the left here, I've got the Ninja 10 Cup Specialty Coffee Maker, model number CM401. Here I've got the Ninja Hot and Cold Brew System, model number CP301. Here I've got one of their latest and greatest, Ninja Dual Brew Pro, model number CFP301. And here's their latest one also, the Ninja Dual Brew Coffee Maker, model number CFP201. So these coffee makers have a lot in common, but they do have some differences. So one of the major differences with the two new ones, the two new dual brews, this is the Pro and this is just the standard one, these do K-Cups. This is new for Ninja. These two over here do not do K-Cups. They, they uh, pride themselves on being pod-free. They can do specialty brews, which is a really small four-ounce concentrated coffee, but they have gone to this Ninja Pod Adapter, which has a K-Cup. You can put a K-Cup in here now, and you can brew a K-Cup or a full 12-cup pot of coffee. Both of the new dual brews do K-Cups. Again, these don't. So this one is kind of their standard. This one has been around for a while. I definitely like the looks of it. This is their hot and cold brew system. It's also really nice, but it also does tea. So you've got this filter basket here. This one's got a coffee bean, but you also have a filter basket with a green tea leaf on it, and you can do certain teas. So when you put the tea filter basket in, you can do these different tea brews and the tea light lights up. But when the coffee, it goes to the coffee bean. All of them take a number four cone filter. These two come with a permanent filter that Ninja sells. You have to buy their permanent filter. The two new dual brews do not come with a permanent filter. You gotta take this pod adapter out. There's the filter basket that takes a number four cone filter. But Ninja also sells a reusable filter, but you've got to use their reusable filter that fits. And then you just slide this, that's the brew head, and it changes the display to coffee. And when you've got the pod adapter in, it changes the display to ounces. So we can do six, 10, or six, eight, 10, 12 ounces. So the biggest also difference with the newer dual brews is they are 12 cup coffee makers. These two over here are 10 cup crafts. Now the crafts look about the same, except they did upgrade these. This is kind of a thicker, uh, thicker glass. So that definitely feels like an improved, other than being bigger, it definitely feels improved over these crafts, which do seem like the glass is a little bit thin. So the specialty coffee maker has six brew sizes. That's the different sizes you can select. You can select a full carafe, and same over here. It's got this selector for all. This has six brew sizes also. Now those lights aren't, they're just flashing in the video. They're not flashing in real life. Here, they've really upped it. We've got nine brew sizes. So when we want to do a coffee, we've got nine different brew sizes. And it gives you the ounce reading right here. This one has 10 brew sizes. So when we pull it there, we've got the coffee setting. There's all those different settings, all those different sizes we can do. And then uh, brew styles. This has three, classic rich over ice. This one's got classic rich over ice and specialty. When you're in specialty, it only brews four ounces. That's for a cappuccino or a latte. And so this one will make a cappuccino or latte, this one will, and this one will too. I have made them with all of them and it tastes pretty good. This one's been sitting around for a little bit, but they do make a nice cappuccino. This one has classic, rich, over ice, cold brew, and specialty. That's that four ounce specialty brew that it'll do. So this has one extra one called cold brew. This one's got classic, rich, over ice, and specialty. So another area that, that they're different, so this has a frother. This one has a frother, this one has a frother, and this one has a frother, the Dual Brew Pro. This is the only one that does not come with a frother. All, all of them, or the three that have the frother are all, they are almost identical. It pulls out from the side, you can take it off. I really like the frother, but you have to heat the milk up yourself. 
Again, there's that frother. Again, it just pulls out from the side. And same with the new Ninja Dual Brew Pro. It looks like they just copied the frother from the other one. It's got the push button on the top that activates it. So now let's talk about drip stop. That's this, this is called a manual drip stop. That, that stops the water from coming out the bottom of the filter basket. This one has a manual one. This one actually has an automatic one with a switch. You press the switch to open and close that, that port that lets the coffee come out the bottom of the brew basket. This one is manual, and this one is manual. Now, this one actually, since, it's, since the coffee maker can, can control the drip stop, it actually, can, it actually brews a little bit of hot water, then it actually stops. It, you'll hear the drip stop stop, and it kind of lets that coffee soak with the hot water, and then it lets the coffee come out. These pause, these will pause for a little bit, but the water continues to go through the filter basket. This is the only one that automatically stops that drip stop from coming out to, to get a really nice bloom off the coffee grounds, and then it continues it. And you can control that drip stop, and it automatically sets the drip stop after you're done brewing your coffee. Where here, you gotta remember, and you'll get used to it, you gotta remember when you're done and you wanna pour yourself a cup of coffee, you gotta manually throw that to drip stop. So let's talk displays. So I, I like all the displays. They're just a little different. This one is sort of kind of a combination touch screen with this dial. This is the Pro. This is their latest and greatest, most expensive. This is their latest one, but the, it's kind of a push, you know, it feels really nice. I think it looks really nice. Um, and then you start the brew by pushing that button right there, but they're very different looking. This one definitely looks a lot nicer, I think. This one I think is a very nice display. Again, those lights aren't flashing in the in real life. It's a very nice display. It goes all dark whenever it's off. So same with this one. It goes all dark and shows you the time. Same with this one. It doesn't really go all dark because the wording's kind of on the display. Over here, this is a very nice display. It's just a little bit little compared to the rest, I think, and it's kind of down, but you've got a power button. And again, a selector and a nice clock. These all have warming plates, and they all have models you can get with a stainless steel carafe. So if you don't want a warming plate, and you want a stainless steel carafe to keep your coffee warm, all of these have models with that that they don't have the warming plate with. So water reservoirs, they're all on the side here. This one's up front, you can see. This one's kind of hidden in the back. This one is right here on the side, and this one's right here on the side. Now these two have a difference. I can move that water reservoir. I cannot move the water reservoir on this. I can move this around back and make this a very skinny coffee maker. So here I've got this, this is the Pro. I can move the water reservoir to around back. So it's the only one that I can do that with. Here's the back side of all of these. So you can see by moving it to the back, it really changed the looks of that coffee maker. All of them are about the same height, except when you do K-cups, you do need some more height to these. These. Everything is down low. You just lift the reservoir up a little bit. They fit under a kitchen cabinet. So these should fit under, they fit under my kitchen cabinets, but they're right at 19 inches. So kitchen cabinets are usually 19 inches from the top of your counter. So they should fit under. So one thing that is unique to this Pro. So here we have the Pro. It's got this separate hot water dispenser. So that's a coffee bean and that's a water droplet. So I can switch between coffee or hot water and the water comes out in its own port. That's very nice, you don't get any coffee taste. So down here I've got this, see this port right here? When I flip that to hot water, or to hot water right there, I can get hot water out of that little port right there. This one does not have that little port. And then when I change that to hot water, I have a hot water display, and I've got two different temperatures. I can do boil or hot, and then I can select whatever quantity of hot water I want to brew. I mean, I can, blow, I can brew a full pot of hot water if I want to. So that is very specific to this Pro, which I do think is a very nice feature. So these have this exact same Ninja pot adapter. So you push it back, it's got this remove, now, a lot of these labels can come off. I've left them on there just because it's helping me remember what's going on. So these ninjas have three needles on the top. So you're not gonna be able to use, a, they don't have a reusable K-cup for it yet. 
So you simply, and it's got a needle in the bottom. So you just put the cake up in, close the lid. It, it pierces both the top and the bottom, and then it's got the pot adapter lit. So now I can do six, eight, 10, or 12 ounce. I can even do a specialty brew with, oh, on this one, I can do a specialty brew with a K-cup. So you get a really concentrated um, coffee through a K-cup that you can use for a cappuccino or a latte. All of them have these, these shelves that pop down. These pop down from the back. Why these two are different, I'm not sure, but they are it's kind of grippy. They're all kind of grippy. And all these coffee makers, when you do a brew that is doesn't require the craft, it turns the warming plate off automatically. That's a very nice feature. So you can set your travel mug right on here and brew a large size travel mug and not worry about the warming plate coming on. But the warming plate does come on when you're using when you're brewing a big carafe. And they all come with a scoop. I really do like these ninja scoops, and there's a place for it. That's very handy. They all have that similar scoop holder on the side of the coffee maker. Okay, so let's brew a half a craft, half a pot of coffee with all of these. I got four scoops of coffee in all three of these. Again, this one does not come with a permanent filter. You got to use a paper filter but you got to buy the specific Ninja one. And this one, I'm going to do a K-cup. Remember I put a K-cup in there earlier? So let's do an eight ounce coffee into a K-cup. I'll try to catch the temperature and we'll do a taste test at the end of all of these coffees. So these just slide in. Here it's a little different. You got to select for coffee grounds. You got to slide the brew head forward and I've got the pot adapter in. Okay, so let's do a classic brew on all of them. So these three are starting, and the cake up is starting. I gotta add water over here to the cake up. So there was that drip stops. Did you hear that? It automatically did it. So it brewed for a little bit, it stopped the coffee from coming out, and now it's letting the coffee come out. These just paused the brew. And there's the cake up. I forgot to add water to that one. So right now, if I had to pick a louder, it'd be the Ninja Pro is probably the loudest right now. Then followed by this, then that one. Okay, so let's get some temperatures. Okay, so the temperature coming out of the cold, hot, cold brewer is 196. The nit, the the water coming out of the specialty brewer is one, I have seen 200, 197. Now let's check the water coming out of the specialty brewer. 178, 180. I had the same temperature coming out when I did the cake up. This is cooled off a little bit, but I ended up with about a 165 cup of coffee in the K-cup. And this one's about, again, we're sticking right around 198, 200. So these two are right around 200. I don't think I ever really see 200 on this Pro. Now these have like a status light that works across. Same with that little light's gonna work its way across to show you where the coffee is while it's brewing. Again, let's check temperature coming out. 190, 187, 192. So these two are done. The Ninja, the Pro is finishing up here in a second. The Dual Brew Pro is finishing up. Okay, so the Dual Brew Pro is finishing up. It, it lagged probably Oh, maybe 30 seconds behind these two over here. Now they all beep at you. This one over here is saying it's, it's done. This one's about ready to beep and say it's done. And then this one is already beeped. The Ninja Dual Brew Pro is already beeped at you. Okay, so the cold brew did its beeping. It said end, but the nice thing about it is the drip stop was automatic. So it, it, there, it, it, at the end of the brew, it automatically 
close the drip stop here. I've got to manually close it and manually close it. Okay, so let's see. Let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee with each one. This one we end up with 173. Let's do the hot cold coffee maker. We end up with, ooh, the hottest, 176, 177. Let's do the Pro, Dual Brew Pro. And we end up with 160, so quite a bit cooler. And then when I did the K-Cup, I measured it. It was about 165 when I did a K-Cup. And here's all the cups of coffee. So I've done a taste test. You know, the cold brewer might taste just a little bit better, but it's really hard to tell. These, all these Ninja coffee makers make a really good cup of coffee. Even the K-Cup on that one, on the dual brew, it makes a great K-Cup coffee. So let's see how the coffee grounds did. There's that one. There's that one. Over here on the Dual Brew Pro. There's its coffee grounds. And then on the K-Cup. We just lift it up and there we take the K-Cup out. It punches a hole in the bottom and the top. So I, I don't think you can go wrong with either any of these coffee makers for making a great cup of coffee. Uh, they just all kind of have some special features that you may or may not want. I've got detailed reviews on all of these coffee makers, so check out those videos. I also show you how to descale them. I show you how to make a cappuccino or latte with each one of them. They all make iced coffee. I've got videos on how to make iced coffee with all of them. So thanks everybody for watching.